trying to converse with a narcissist is like... It's like living in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> okay, it's a little dramatic, but not entirely far from the truth. It is almost like you're on a different planet. In fact, sometimes it's almost like you're speaking a different language. So in this video, I wanna talk about seven strategies that narcissists use when conversing with you or when having a disagreement. And the reason I wanna focus on these seven strategies is because one of the reasons why we go through so much emotional turmoil when we're in a relationship with a narcissist and we're conversing with them is because we don't realize what they're doing when they're conversing. We think that they're conversing like us, but they're not. They have a completely different agenda, but once we start to realize it, once we shine the light on their hidden strategies, we can begin to take our power back. So if you find yourself in a conversation with a narcissist being spun around like a ball on somebody's finger, round and round to complete confusion, to the point that at the end of the conversation, you don't even remember what you were talking about, you're gonna wanna watch this video. Here's the thing with covert manipulation. Sometimes we think that abuse is simply yelling, screaming, out of control, obvious forms of abuse. And that happens a lot. In fact, if you haven't seen my playlist subscriber stories where subscribers have sent in conversations with the narcissist in their life, here's the playlist right here. And you'll hear a lot of those kinds of conversations. But the truth is, a lot of times we're dealing with covert narcissists whose abuse is more subtle and that's why we need to know their strategies. So let's get started. So strategy number one, invalidation. Something that's very frustrating with narcissists is their inability to validate your feelings or your viewpoints. Now, validation isn't about completely agreeing with the person. Validation isn't about sharing eye to eye on whatever subject you're talking about. Validation is simply acknowledging somebody's point of view, seeing, hearing what they're saying, caring enough about their view to let them know that you see them, you hear them, and that you care. Narcissists never validate. And what they will often do to avoid validation is blame shift. Rather than have the focus be on their behavior, they will quickly change the conversation so that the focus is now on something supposedly that you do wrong. In a healthy relationship, it's, it's healthy, it's normal to imagine that in any disagreement, both parties can share some of the responsibility. There's not one person that's 100% blame free and the other person that's 100% always taking the blame. That's not reality because there's always two sides and there's always something that each one of us in a relationship can learn from the other or do better or recognize that we were doing something that maybe we didn't realize. So the purpose of the blame shifting is to really take the spotlight off of the narcissist and put it onto someone that they can blame, which most of the time is you. Number three is projection. The strategy of the narcissist when they use projection serves two purposes. First, it serves the purpose of not looking at themselves as the problem, so they project what they're feeling onto you. So rather than realize that they are imperfect and human, they can't stand that thought, so anything they're doing wrong, they will blame you. They will project that onto you. If they're name calling, they'll say that you're name calling. If they're blame shifting, they'll say that you're blame shifting. If they're selfish, they'll say that you're selfish. So it keeps them from having to look at themselves, but on top of it, it causes an intense amount of emotional frustration in you because you know that that's not what you're doing. In fact, it's very clear to you that that's what they're doing. So it creates emotional stress in the victim and it, once again, the underlying motive of the narcissist is always to take your focus off of the real problem. So now what happens is the person in the conversation with the narcissist focuses on trying to prove the narcissist wrong because they are clearly convinced, they have evidence to prove that they are not whatever they're being accused of. The problem is, is that they think that the narcissist 
cares. They think the narcissist accused them of that because maybe they just got it wrong. And so they're willing to help the narcissist see the truth. The problem is the narcissist doesn't want to see the truth. They're not accusing you that because they really believe it. They're just trying to spin you around and keep you confused and off focus of their behavior. Number four is word salad. Narcissists will bring something completely unrelated up. It will make no logical sense and your mind will get stuck trying to make sense of it because you're thinking, erroneously, that you're dealing with a logical person, that there must be some kind of logical reason why they're doing that. There's not. Once they start involving word salad, hopping from topic to topic in an unrelated, in unintelligible manner, your mind is chasing, trying to find logic, guess what happens? Once again, you lose focus over what the original issue was, and bingo, the strategy of word salad has worked. Number five is gaslighting. Narcissists use gaslighting where they will deny they said something or they will accuse you of saying something and say it with such logic that it makes you doubt yourself and you wonder, did I say that? Did I hear that? They confuse you, they accuse you, or they lie so convincingly that it starts to make you doubt yourself. You start wondering, did I really do that? Well, their strategy with gaslighting is to get you to do that, to start doubting yourself, to start focusing on yourself as if there's something wrong with you so that you are not focusing on the real problem, which is the emotional manipulator. Number six, narcissists love to perform hurt and rescue operations. They will hurt you and then they will somehow come up with the solution to having peace to the problem. Of course, it'll be on their terms and how they want it, which usually ends with you looking at yourself, feeling horrible, thinking you really are the problem, and they're like telling you that you need help and you need, you know, some kind of therapy and they'll support you because obviously your anxiety is just, you know, it's, it's out of this, this world, it's off the charts and, you know, they're really worried about you. Again, their whole goal is to get you to think that there's something wrong with you. Think about it, the more emotionally upset you are in a conversation with a narcissist, the calmer they get. So by the end of the conversation, you are so overwhelmed emotionally and they're so calm. They're not yelling, their voice and their tone is super calm. And this leads me to strategy number seven. Number seven is they use your emotional state against you. So they've gotten you all riled up by performing the last six strategies that I mentioned, the manipulative strategies that narcissists use, they perform all of that. By the end of the conversation, you're completely overwhelmed, you're exasperated, you're crying, you're probably raising your voice, you're feeling distraught, and then they say, look, see, look at how, you know, your voice is raised, you're causing the problem, it's obvious that you're the problem because look at you and look at how calm I am. And for a split second in that frame of mind, you start to wonder. You think they really are calm. I was never like this before. Why am I like this now? Maybe it is me. Maybe there is something wrong with me. And when you start thinking like that, once again, the narcissist is being successful with their man manipulation tactics. Wouldn't it be awesome to know exactly how to stop falling for these strategies? In my next video, I'm going to talk about a successful strategy that will help you to stop getting sucked into that black hole of emotional manipulation. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you're notified when that video is out.